let's I'm waiting for that defiler consume is upgraded now the defiler there to help press this attack forward I don't see any science vessels to even take care of it at this stage uh, and irradiate isn't even upgraded so these lurkers really gonna have a field day um, really gonna be able to contain Wow kind of a late contain from day nine very creative build and this is kind of that bridge I think I mentioned at the early game if you can establish position on this bridge you were in an excellent excellent position so but uh, unfortunately for day nine he missed this drop into the back of his base particularly oh gonna lose some overlords but if he can get this defiler mount down Nesh will be in a very comfortable position uh, to get right back in this game and it looks like uh, he's going after the drones first but really I think he should concentrate on that defiler mount because if he can get that defiler mount down that'll uh, really pay off day nine not pressing a counterattack on the front door which is really what I think you should be thinking about now concentrating on the defiler mount but lurker is already there uh, not able to press it down losing so many marines that was a huge moment right there for day nine zerglings pushing back here able to take it out uh, at the very least though he's managed to take out some drones if you could take if, if man if he could have taken out that defiler mount he would have been okay he still might be in a decent position because he's already he does have uh, some science vessels out in the field and he still has them pressed maybe if he can get some irradiate uh, down on them it looks like yeah it is finished upgrading Medic Marines on the field. Now the radiation coming out. Now the question is, is can Day 9 hold on? Because uh, a lot of Medic Marines out in the field looks like a tank to support. Uh, ooh, uh, a lot of fire bats to help deal with it, but the fire bats not very good against lurkers. There is a tank here in the background. The one single tank will range all of those lurkers. Let's see if they press. But Day 9, once again, kind of staking up position. Uh, Nesh needs to be a little careful with his science vessels, especially with so many fire bats on the ground. If Day 9 is heads up and brings some scourge up to the front of the field, they're easy pickings here. Uh, some more, uh, wow, some more troops actually getting picked off being loaded up into dropships to go for an end around probably to that bottom right hand corner looks like he's already sending them out and once again day nine i don't know that he can support this contain and uh yeah and defend all of his holdings basically out in the field a lot of zerglings pressing up and i don't know that nesh has enough really to hold this back he's got a bunker full with three marines and a couple science vessels out uh, otherwise and it looks like nesh moving to that bottom right hand corner going to try to take that out there are some scourge being produced to try to to counter that but let's see if this drop will be off in time i'm not sure uh, actually it looks like that no the dropship doing an end around he thought he was headed to that bottom right hand corner but nesh actually heading towards the main without detection however and oh scourge right there uh he's going to try to hurt uh that base once again it looks like he is going to be able to get ooh fire bats in the mix he is going to be able to take out some drones but needs to be careful otherwise he has nothing to really protect against those scourge unfortunately and now the zergling is pressing in on that secondary and yeah just just wasn't enough defense there. Uh, the Zerglings able to press in all by themselves uh, with a, with a little bit of lurker support, not a ton of lurkers otherwise. But uh, three science vessels out in the air, and I think Nash really taken um, kind of off guard by this quick uh, hive build. I really like it from Day Nine. The fire bats trying to take down the uh, trying to take down the queen's nest in the meantime. Uh, Day Nine looks like he's mostly ignoring it, just trying to press in. He's got a drone in the mix, maybe to just build something underneath. A couple SCVs to that bottom right hand corner. It looks like Nash is just going to wait for those irradiates. Uh, a lurker down on the front and realizing that there's no detection here queen's nest not going to go down although that queen's nest really not uh, worth a lot here that's not a lot of i mean he's already got his hive up he's not worried about his hive so Nesh really falling behind now, and it looks like he's going to end up losing a lot of these SCVs before uh, any help can come. A single lurker left on that front, four science vessels up in the air. Um, Nesh still in a pretty good position, though. He's still got more science vessels pumping. He's already got five up in the air, and he, uh, losing two right there. Uh, and right now, just, uh, wow, Nesh uh, in a bad position now. I thought with those two additional science vessels, he would have been okay. But now Day 9 just has an overwhelming amount of Zerglings. He has map control. He can take bases at will. He's got all the additional expansions staked out. Particularly, he's got uh, this area right here. Um, it looks like a firebat kind of in the mix. A little bit of a piecemeal attack. Firebat uh, pushing out, and he's just going to have to keep backing up. But without, uh, he, he's still going to be able to pump science vessels here. But I really felt like he needed that those additional two science vessels to really have a critical count. And really, uh, especially into this mid game, it looks like he's finally able to get a secondary back up. Uh, but day nine should have the economy and should have the troops to counter this now. Although it looks like there's still a single marine and a single medic just picking away drones in the back edge. Um, and once again, day nine able to get right up on that ridge he's going to end up losing the zerkers but this is going to buy him time he does have a third gas established so he could push to ultra here um and uh, let's see if nesh can just push out in this field here and honestly oh more scourge coming up and take and again nesh not doing a very good job of protecting his science vessels at all and now i think he's just in a, a huge huge amount of trouble has nothing to even uh, push these defilers back out here in the mid game and that bought day nine a lot of time still pumping a lot of marines looks like he's got another drop uh, together but he's going to have to go with a absolutely amazing drop 
on either this bottom right hand expansion which it looks like it's a single SCV headed there and the drop is trailing if he can take out this right hand base he'll be uh, right back in the game but uh, honestly I think Day 9 will be able to evacuate his drones and to get support troops there uh, to clean that up shortly it looks like the spire is still up a little bit bleeding in that defile mound uh, bleeding but still around there and now yeah drop going in the bottom right hand corner um, but uh, ouch and it looks like Day 9 in a bad situation he's concentrating to attack uh, up the middle so it looks like he might lose this bottom right hand corner Nesh is going to come right back in this taking out an overlord and and it looks like no support troops coming in a couple scourge there uh, just kind of waiting outside and day nine must know about that at this stage but it looks like he's just going to let it go he hasn't established any additional expansion now it's going to be a starvation game and honestly in this starvation game uh, it's going to be uh, very favorable for Nesh three science vessels out in the field Nesh with that drop uh, really reestablished position uh, basically taking uh, a big lead in this game. Zergling's pushing up right on that secondary. Very nice swarm. Let's see if there's any. There is some irradiate left in these science vessels but uh, Nesh having to lift up uh, his command center once again. I don't think he's terribly terribly worried about it though because uh, day nine uh, with this bottom right hand corner uh, basically stopped. Uh, I don't think there's enough economy to really uh, keep up with this and so like the main and wow day nine does not have very uh, good drone saturation. Uh, on his main here so it looks like the, the I think Nesh is still going to come out with this even with this lurker force that's up on his front door uh, armor one looks like it's upgrade uh, no no armor one just weapons two interesting going for the weapons two with the lurkers out in the field more scourge pushing up let's see if they can keep those science vessels down that'll be really key for day nine to try to keep in this um, and it looks like that dropship actually sneaking back around dropping that bottom left hand corner uh, day nine doing a lot of disruption on this secondary but still marines are cheap and it looks like they're still actually you might be able to starve him out if he can somehow hold this uh, and somehow neutralize this attack that Nesh has in the back of the base. It looks like Nesh is going to continue to concentrate on that uh, on that uh, attack on that front door. These lurkers pushing up. There are fire bats uh, on the lurkers, but keep in mind... Oh, able to take out those lurkers. Nesh has reestablished his secondary, which is devastating for